Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial, and this is how to install the Nandex drivers for your Nandex. Now, all you need is the Nandex from Tmax and a computer that's capable of running it, which is pretty much anything. Now, just plug in your Nandex. Mm -hmm. It should try to install drivers, but there are no drivers for it. You have to download them. I'll have the download in the description for the drivers. That's going to come in our raw form, so you're going to need to extract them. I'm going to extract the files here. Where did they go? There, here they are. Now, you should have in there all these. For your 32-bit systems, you're just going to want to select the folder. And if you have a 64-bit system, you're just going to want to select the 64-bit signed. But we'll do that in a second. All you do is go to Start Menu, go to Control Panel, or right-click Computer, go to the Properties. Device Manager, you should come up Memory Access. Right click Update Driver Software, Browse My Computer, hit Browse, go up to Show Desktop. I mean, just minimize that a little bit so I have more room. There it is, NAM Pro 20 Drivers. If you were just going to do a 32 bit, how it's selected, you would just click OK. But since I have a 64 bit system, you're going to want to click X64 bit sign, hit OK, hit Next. Install this driver software anyway. Should take a couple of seconds, and there you go. It has the executor and index. It's all ready to go, and you can plug it in. Use JRunner or your other favorite NAND system to read it, like NAND Pro, and you'll be reading your Xbox 360's NAND in no time. 